What's up guys, I'm finally back home and let's talk about these bad boys. But before we do, let me just show you what I got. Look what I got. Vapor Glow 5s in the most unique color they make them. And Field Grounds original mess. And some good old Wittins in a similar color to the field ground so we will be comparing those and of course we will be comparing pg5s with the sixes very different shoes very different shoes so let's talk about oh yeah of course stay tuned subscribe and you will be seeing reviews of all that and comparisons of course we will make a big one with every single vapor globe from the three and up the three leather the four, the five, and the six. So let's talk about the six. Okay, I've, I've had this for all, like a few months now, but actually you said it was probably around three months. I wear those a lot. I wore those a lot at work, even though I had an issue with my small toe being compressed. Now, long story short, that was never fixed. These will not break in and open up when it comes to the small toe. They're just too narrow on this side. It is what it is, and that's why I'm not really wearing them uh, all that much. Honestly, if I could sell them for a good price, I probably would because they're incredible. But if you cannot wear a shoe, then it's useless, obviously. Now, what about wear? So I haven't worn them that much, but it was all on pavement and abrasive surfaces, right? Not really any off-roading. And it's hard to tell on camera, but there is... The lugs in the center here are getting worn a bit. They're very small now. They're almost gone. They're not like those big ones. But of course, those are soft. Like, you can bend them with your hand. Like, it feels like you could basically pluck them out, right? Those are very soft. The Trail Glove 7s also have the same sole, I think. So, this is basically a trail. So, this is what uh, Merrill has been doing for a while. Ever since the 4s. Although the 5s have amazing soles, suitable for pavement as well, much harder, but also very grippy. Uh, not really anywhere in the heel, but what's interesting is that that's going to be impossible to show on camera, but can you see the edges? If you go back to my old Vaporglow 4 review, there is a ridge forming on the edge of the sole. This is in both shoes. I don't think... It's gonna be very hard to see on camera, maybe when I'm flexing it, but there is a ridge going down there. In the old Paper Glove 4 that I had reviewed, that ridge has just got bigger and bigger now, you can basically flex them and see it open. This is very early on, but those have not really been used that much. It's three months, but exclusive everyday usage was probably a month and a half, something like that. But I was also using them in in other cases the thing is i wasn't wearing them that much because of the annoyance here so yeah that's what you can expect to see i'm not really seeing any other structural faults i was very worried about the mess getting worn out on this side because there is no protector there but i think that's going to be the least of your worries honestly because the sole will go will go out far before the uppers do doesn't matter what you do with the shoe the sole is going to go out and I just have to compare them to the fives now because I just got the fives and the fives are almost perfect almost perfect the thing is with the fives initially I felt a bit of pressure in my big toe but not in my small toe and after, after wearing them for just a few minutes those are the same size by the way just a few minutes there is no pressure anywhere no hot spots those fit very very nicely of course they're a bit uh, loosey goosey here because of this they your foot will not be extremely stable, but if you just walk them to, like for some light uh, activity and like walking around, nothing too crazy, no, not much lateral movement and stuff, those are great. But I think I will make them their own review because obviously they deserve it, they whole like a different uh, Vapor Glove model. So yeah, back to the sixes. They now have those in leather. Be very careful because the, weather, the leather looks attractive, but 
it's gonna be even narrower and actually like a subscriber also told me that yes the leather will be even narrower because obviously it's leather right so if this super light super flexible mess doesn't break in sufficiently imagine the leather shoe it's gonna be light suede of course it's going to break in but it's not gonna be good enough i think so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get the leathers even though i like them especially the browns and at the same time i mean you're making a leather shoe that looks very casual but it has a huge toe guard they did the same with the threes but with the threes it works a bit better because it's not the toe guard is not as pronounced uh it, it looks more normal so in some colorways you can barely notice a toe guard but here this is it has lags on top of it like this is a technical shoe you cannot dress this up there is no way you're wearing this with anything other than your shorts when you go running or stuff unfortunately so this is a very limited use shoe it's great at that but for my foot anatomy i have an issue with my small toe so i cannot really uh, utilize them properly so yeah it's up to you if you're gonna get them they're the lightest vapor gloves they're the most flexible brave vapor gloves even uh, compared to the force the grippiest vapor gloves probably too although in the wet not so much because obviously spaced out lugs very thin not much uh, contact area with the ground so not that's good but again too narrow they look overly technical and durability of the sole on pavement there is none like at the center here the lugs are gone and of course you have the reeds forming on the sides so yeah it's up to you if you want to get them uh, I don't know anymore I'm glad I got them to try them out but I think they were not necessarily a good purchase I also paid more than full price I paid like 120 euros paid 115 for those very expensive especially for an older model but they were also available 91 euros in black but I just wanted this special colorway like with these laces those are amazing but yeah so it's up to you get them or don't it's really up to you. I'm going to be making a review of the fives right now. And yeah, I'm going to see you in the next one. Get subscribed. Leave a like if you liked the video. And I will see you in the next one. See you.